Hey, Hard Luck Charlie here. Today we're going to uh, clean out another hot water tank. And this one here has been in for a long, long time as well. And uh, I believe the sediment is coming up into the bottom of the tank. It's causing valve problems in the shower uh, with lime scale buildup. I believe we have a lot of it here in the tank. And uh, we're down to one element, the top element. So we're going to replace the elements. We're going to clean this tank using a Harbor Freight wet dry vac and this special attachment that I made. Uh, this attachment came off of a weed whacker. Uh, I got complaints on the first video of uh, uh, don't use a metal wand uh, in, in, in the tank. It will scratch the glass. So I made a timeout. So I made a wand out of PVC and uh, we're going to see if this one works better than the first one that I tried and I'll show you those in a minute. Okay, so first off, we're going to remove these screws on our cover here. There's one here and one down at the bottom. We'll pull that off. And we'll pull this out. And now we're going to use our tester. Make sure that, make sure our current is off. This says it's off. And you can see, I've already got my hose attached and running over to the floor drain. So hopefully we'll just be able to get this drained out in a hurry and get this whole thing done up as quick as possible. Okay, to drain the water from the tank, I'm going to uh, turn off the inlet, the cold water valve that comes in, which is right here. And this used to go to a hot water, uh, to a softener unit but we're going to go ahead and turn this valve here off and then start our valve draining down here at the bottom okay I've got both valves uh, wide open the the air inlet valve and the and the water outlet valve on the bottom of the tank and that flow tells me that uh, that there's quite a bit of sediment lime scale build up in the bottom of the tank okay so this tank has been draining for about an hour and 15 minutes now it should be down below this first out heating element top heating element so we're going to go ahead and loosen this thing up and just see if, uh, if it is down below it now. Okay, so I couldn't find my breaker bar, but I got my torque wrench. Well, it just pulled. See how it looks. look too bad really the top one doesn't look too bad I've seen a lot worse God no. We've got a problem here. 
Well, when I was unscrewing the, uh, trying to unscrew my heater, my lower heater element, uh, it unscrewed, and then, uh, I realized that the element itself had broken off. Okay, I've been digging on this thing for an hour trying to get get this out and uh, you can see all the sediment that's come out already on the floor there and I'm getting nowhere and uh, I don't have forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push what's left of this element back into the tank and then get in here and start trying to clean it, clean this lime scale out. If I get this element out, great. If not, it's just going to have to float in there or remain at the bottom of the tank. But I, I'm just having too much trouble trying to get it out. It's just not coming out. So I'm going to push it back in. And then I'm going to get my... Uh, my wand here and we're gonna go in we're gonna start sucking this stuff out okay so here's a nice tip if you don't have knee pads uh, but you might have a little bit of foam and some cardboard boxes just put them all together tape them up like so and it'll really really save your knees so again for those of you that didn't see my other video this is the wand that I made. Uh, it, it fits real nice in the, into the opening. And uh, I made it out of a, a, a weed eater, weed whacker uh, stem. And then I made a, uh, an adapter to fit to the, to the vacuum. <laughs> I got a wet back, but this is one of those hoses that reduces down, and uh, and it reduces down to a regular, normal size, uh, standard vacuum. And so what I did is I uh, took a one-inch piece of PVC, a one-inch coupler, and then a one-inch to three-quarter inch reducer. And then heated this uh, PV piece of PVC up just enough so that it would fit, slide on there nice and tight. Wrapped a little bit of tape around this uh, aluminum weed whacker uh, uh, rod there. And then that's it. Okay, so this is it. This is the sediment that I pulled out of the water heater. And uh, as you can see, it's probably, I don't know, 10, 5, 10 gallons. Okay, so we're ready to stick the uh, water heater element back into the tank here. And first of all, we took a wire brush and wire brushed out the threads. And then took a little bit of silicone grease and just put that around on the inside there. So we'll just go ahead and screw this in here. Or place it in. Takes a little bit of... There we go. Okay, so we're going to check, we turned our breakers back on, now we're going to check and make sure that we have, there we go, you can see it right there, we have electricity to the top element, 
And I am not reading anything on the bottom element. Well, I'm, I'm finally done with this uh, water heater clean out. Now, I'm not going to lie, this was one heck of a job. Um, there was no 30 minute clean out. It was more like about a four, four hour marathon clean out. And I was sweating and my, I mean, I was wasted by the end of the night. Uh, put in two new water heater elements and I put in a new thermostat, both upper and lower, unnecessarily, I might add. Uh, it turns out that those thermostats work, uh, they're, they're not simultaneous. So they're, uh, one will, one works on one element and, and then the other element. They, they don't come on at the same time. So, uh, if you test up here and the top element says, okay, it's, it's working, the bottom element says it's not, that's the way it's supposed to be. So anyhow, uh, we got it working. It's hot. Uh, it's all new elements. Uh, it was a struggle, but we, I look at it this way. I could have spent a, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars for a new water heater. Or, you know, about 70, 70 bucks for the new elements and, uh, and thermostats. And then my one day of labor. Uh, so, I figured that, uh, that it was money saved. So, anyhow, make yourself a wand, a vacuum wand. Get a good vacuum, wet vac. And uh, go at it yourself on these if you want to save some money. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.